friends, it is Kelly and I am working on some layouts from the base pages that I created. This is video five of the stash busting series. So in this video, I am just going to complete the layout from the page kits that I created. Um, and I had used the base pages to um, help me choose embellishments and titles and all that good stuff. So this is the actual final process of creating some layouts using the base pages that I started with. And this one, I started with the floral paper um, background. And when I saw the, the pink and the mint colors, I thought these photos of my grand twin Easter egg hunting was perfect. Her little dress just matched these colors perfectly. And it just says Easter and spring and uh, bunny rabbit. So that is, I thought these, these photos were perfect for this layout. And as you see, I'm using some of the embellishments. I'm using the floral pieces, which none of the floral pieces really matched per se, but they're kind of some of them are different styles more of them are more cartoony more some of them are like the more shabby chic kind but i just used them all all the florals i used for two different cluster bases and sometimes i'll do that if i'm not sure what i want to i just feel like florals you can set a lot of things on top of florals and make it all look cohesive and pretty so that's what I did here and uh, the sticker sheet that I used was um, an Easter sticker sheet and the, the happy Easter was just perfect the color and everything so that's what I chose for it to be my title right there and I tried to get that butterfly on this page and it just didn't seem to work out. So I moved him around a few times and in the end I just don't use it. And this little flag, I had a hard time finding the perfect spot for it. I moved that quite around, moved that around quite a bit as well. And the little chickadee of course i had to use him because he's just too cute right there sitting on top of the the little signs and i'm using the last little pieces um as my finishing touches for this layout so as you can see these page kits go super fast like it i got usually i'm good if i get one or two layouts scrapped in a session like but with these page kits I could do three or four of them in a you know a couple of hours m m max I mean I got this layout probably done in 20 minutes so pretty fast the I guess the hardest part for me and what I kind of I've learned about myself through this whole process is choosing embellishments that takes me quite a while <laughs> and since I had them all chosen already for the you know in a page kit that it narrowed my choices down and got me to make quicker decisions so I think this is good if you are short on time this is a great way to scrapbook so on to my next layout so I will be doing three in this video using three of the base pages um, this is uh, my son and daughter-in-law and just a cute picture of them hanging out together and as you see my two photo mats I talked about that at some point that they didn't fit the picture that I'm using and that I would just make it work and it worked out just fine um, it almost looks like I meant for it to look like that <laughs> so I'm fine with it I had originally planned to have two three by four photos there and 
when I saw this picture with these papers in this base page, I thought, yeah, that's the photo I want there. And I'm just going to make it work. And I feel like it worked out fine. So with this one, I spent some time just moving what I had. Like I said, I've narrowed my choices down, which makes this a much faster process as far as embellishments go. And I'm what I do have, I am moving around the page trying to decide where I want it to go. And I'm, I have the goal to use as much of the embellishments that I pulled as possible without making it look crazy. So <laughs> I think for the most part, I accomplished that. <laughs> and I think that little, the main squeeze, uh, puffy sticker is so cute with those speech bubbles. And I've had those speech bubbles from Felicity Jane for a, so, a few years. And this is the first time that I've used them. So I'm pretty happy about that, that I've, I love them and I did not want to get rid of them because I knew at some point in time I would find the perfect layout to use. And this, I guess this whole process has kind of put you, you, it's pushed me out of my comfort zone and made me use things that I normally don't reach for. Like I, I like the speech bubbles for some reason, I have a hard time using those, but in this whole little experiment <laughs> stash busting series, I think I've used two of them. So I'm pretty happy with that on this one and another layout. So I'm pretty happy that I'm actually using some things that probably would have ended up in a donate pile at some point. And I'm, I'm going for three clusters here. My cluster up there on the top where the orange, at the top of the layout on the left hand side, that's one of my clusters. Then I have the little speech bubble, main squeeze cluster, and then another one. So it's kind of a stair step uh, clustering I've done here, which usually I try to spread my clusters out more in a triangle, triangle type fashion, but I just felt like this worked just fine. So, and it's different. It's not something that I always do. So that's kind of been the, my, my goal here is to do things that I don't always do. That keeps scrapbooking interesting. It keeps building pages fun. So I'm showing you that I'm done with this one. Although I still have to, well, I held it up because I thought I was done. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, I need to put the date on here. So I'm using one of my, some of my favorite date stamps from scrapbook.com. And it is their brand. And it says October 2021. On to my last process for this video. And this is my daughter, my middle daughter and my soon to be son-in-law. They're actually getting married here in a couple of weeks. So yeah. And this is just them out. They, um, he travels for work a lot and he will have Erica fly down and stay with him wherever he's, you know, at that time. And this is, I think, I want to say they're in North Carolina on this trip so I don't really remember but I just thought my daughter looked beautiful in her dress and they're out on, at a nice restaurant and I just thought this was a cute sweet little couple of pictures so yeah so I just chose the title from Peak Fresh Studios love you and then I'm getting to use this chipboard from it's a vintage simple stories line I can't remember the name of it but it's been a while and it's a spring a springy kind of collection so I loved it and decided I wanted to use it because the colors matched well with the uh papers, the Maggie home papers that I chose. 
And I'm just going to position that biggest floral cluster right there beside the title. And then I am adding a, a few little gold accents. And the one above the love you sign says happiness looks good on you because, yes, my daughter has, she's had a lot of struggles in the last few years and she's been so happy lately and I just, I'm happy to see her happy. <laughs> And so let's see, now I'm going to build a cluster down here on the bottom. I have one at the top, one on the right hand side, and now I'm going to come down here to the bottom left hand side and build um, a third cluster. And I'm just going to put that chipboard so it kind of hangs over a little bit and just chop off the ends of it to make it flush with the paper so it will fit in my page protector and up there I put that little gold love sticker and didn't like it I do want some more gold to to spread around the page in each cluster just so, so I have some balance and And I'm adding some enamel hearts that were on the same sheet as the Pink Fresh title, the Pink Fresh Studio title. And I'm going to add some finishing touches with these enamel darts, enamel dots. <laughs> and instead of just doing one trio of dots, I'm going to do two trios of smaller embellishments in each cluster so I'm going to add my date here with my office date roller stamp I've had this forever and I think I am about yeah I'm done with that so these are the three layouts that I created um, I will be doing a wrap-up video here very shortly to end this series Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.